So over here, you can see that I have a project opened up and over here on the bottom, this is the timeline right here. So uh, you can see this green um, uh, line right here, which is known as the timeline cursor. And you can click and drag this out right here um, to see different parts of the video. So now you can see that I'm in this section right here. And, and that is why I see this particular video frame right here. So I'm seeing the portion where are 44 seconds right here. Let me just bring the um, uh, timeline cursor over here in the beginning. And once you do that, you can press the play button right here just like this and play the video. And you can see that the timeline cursor moves just like this, as you can see. You can pause the video over here as well, and you can move one step forward right here. So each video is made up of frames, and if I were to click this, then the video slowly moves right here. Let me just go around and demonstrate over here. If I were to move uh, one frame forward, then you can see that it slowly moves, the timeline cursor slowly moves um, frame by frame uh, uh, like forward right here. And you can also move frame by frame backward over here as well. So besides that, you can go to a uh, previous editing point here, just like this, and navigate towards particular editing points that is in between the clips over here as well, as you can see. So this is what you have right here. So you can go around play, and what you can do is you can also fast forward this, uh, just like this, or you can rewind over here as well. So if I were to go around over here, then you can see that there are shortcut keys that, get this, that gets displayed as well. For example, if I want to play this video, then I can press the space bar once, then it plays. Then you can see that over here, uh, the L is the fast forward button. So press L, then it fast forwards in 1x speed. Then go around and it fast forwards even faster and so forth. You can go around and press space right here to pause it right here and press J to actually go back over here. Play it in reverse as you can see right here. You can see all of it right here when you actually play this. You can see that J is the shortcut key right here and space is the play pause button right here. And for the previous edit point, up and down arrow is the key right here and so forth as you can see just like this. And that is how you can work around with timeline inside of um, uh, Adobe Premiere Rust. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.